Hey there, hi there, hello everyone. Narjan here, in this video I'm going to be showing you the ins and outs of fighting Valamur, which includes the best armor and weapon to use, its attacks, what parts of it are breakable, and some other info. So without further ado, let's begin. Valamar is a Radiant Behemoth, so the best weapon element against it is Umbral, and the best armor is Radiant. When it comes to weapons, if I had to choose one, it would be the Axe. It has five. The first one happens right after you approach it. It will teleport away, and if you're close enough, it will knock you back. It may also land on you when it reappears, so do a dodge a couple seconds after it teleports. The second one is where it will summon radiant bubbles that will encircle it. They don't last too long, but they make it quite annoying to do any attacks up close. The third one are drones that appear after Valamur teleports or after it summons the radiant bubbles. Best thing to do is destroy the ones nearest to you. The fourth one is where it will do a radiant blast from either its head, one of its legs, or its tail. Whichever one you're closest to is the one that will do it. The fifth one happens if you're standing far enough away. Valamur will charge up a radiant beam and then fire it. If you get hit by it, it will destroy your vision. It has one attack, and it's right after it enters its enraged state. It will summon a radiant shield around it, which will knock you away, and at the same time, a circle of the drones will appear. Oh, and it will also summon the radiant bubbles. Because you can never have enough bubbles! <laughs> Certain attacks can reach Valomer while it's protected by the radiant shield, such as the axe's abilities Flight of Ruin and Grim Onslaught. But if you're using a different weapon, then you can break the shield by doing enough damage. It has one. It will summon a circle of the drones above it and then watch them in wonder. While it's doing that, you need to do enough damage to interrupt it. Whoa, that's a full rainbow. All the way. Double rainbow. Oh my god. This guy has four. You can get it from its horn, head, limbs, and tail. I know what your biggest question is. Marjan, what about those crystals? What do they do? Well, dear viewer, each color will give you a different buff. Red will increase your damage to the next three attacks. Purple will put a radiant shield around you that blocks radiant damage. Green will gradually heal you over time. And speaking of the crystals, if you're in a group, use the radiant shield buff from the purple crystal to clear out as much of the radiant bubbles as close the volumer for you and your teammates. After Volumer retreats, immediately go to a high point and you'll be able to see where he reappears. If there aren't any of the purple crystals, just lure Volumer out of the radiant bubbles. That's pretty much it! If you'd like to see an example of me fighting it, here's some gameplay.
Alrighty, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I hope you guys have an amazing morning, afternoon, or night. Be seeing you in the next video and happy slaying.